we are going to discuss about IP addressing and we will be covering this agenda during this discussion. Internet architecture. So we have two types of network internet and intranet. Internet is mainly used for connecting to branch offices or private networks whereas internet is used for connecting any people across the globe. If they have network connectivity we will be able to send and receive information from them. So it is working in the public network and uh, anyone can access any systems in the open internet. Definition of IP. IP stands for Internet Protocol. It is specifying the form of packets also called as datagram and how it has to be addressed uh, from the source to destination. All these standards will be defined in the uh, Internet Protocol. Along with Internet Protocol, we have another protocol called TCP. As a combined only, we are going to use it in the uh, network. So we cannot use IP alone or TCP alone uh, while communicating. So we will be using both. TCP is working in the layer 4 whereas IP is working in layer 3. Protocol, it is set of rules defined for forming a packet of information or sending the information in a standard format to the destination system and vice versa. So that there is no confusion or data loss is happening for any kind of communication. Types of protocol, you have connection oriented protocol and connection less protocol. So connection oriented protocol uh, always expects an acknowledgement from the end user or the end destination system. So it is always getting delayed because of the written traffic and uh, it is guaranteeing that uh, the data is already delivered to the uh, destination system but always it is slow the XP and SPX connection less protocol it is sending the information does not wait for any confirmation from the end system and always it is guaranteeing the data that uh, the ex expected data is delivered the example of protocol is IP like IP address you have MAC address in the field so ip address is a logical address specified in binary hexadecimal formats etc whereas it is assigned for computers laptops mobiles network devices switch router everything so it is available in l3 layer and uh, assigned by an administrator we have other technologies also to assign the ip address automatically hcp so there is a possibility of duplication of the ip address uh, if you are not configuring uh, the networks properly okay whereas mac address it is also called as burnt in address bia it means the manufacturer will be burning the address what is required so there are standard organizations available they provide the range of uh, ip address and details to the uh, other companies they make use of it and manufacture the product so each datagram has two sections one is header and payload all together it is also called as packet ip obviously it is communicating with the tcp ip protocol apart from that it is also communicating with other protocols like udp icmp igrp uh, arp protocols so uh, arp mainly used for translating your um, ip address into mac address for easy identification of the uh, end user systems Types of communication we have unicast, broadcast, multicast. One to one, it will be called unicast. One to all, it's a broadcast, like uh, you are um, RJ speaking over the uh, radio. And one to several is a multicast. It, it is similar like broadcast, but uh, we are choosing the uh, destination system while sending the information. It may be more than one. It is called multicast. OSI reference model, we will be discussing about OSI reference model separately in a discussion, other discussion. Here just to understand where your TCP protocol and IP protocol is available. So TCP is in layer 4, IP is available in layer 3. So this 32-bit address, they have divided into 4 octets as 8-bit, 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 8-bit. So uh, 2 power 8 is 128. It's a binary calculation what we have to do while bringing the uh, uh, an IP networking. So it is taking a portion of first octet and uh, it will be used for networking. Uh, rest of the three octet will be used for uh, IP addressing. So IP address is allocated by the agencies called Internic, which is responsible for US and Canada. RIPE is for Europe and APNIC is for Asia and Pacific. So uh, in the IP address 32 bit I have mentioned. So in that 32 bit first portion, first octet is referred for networking in class A 
and rest of the three portions is called as host ID. So always in class A you will have more number of hosts. Class B it is taking 16 bit that is first two octets for network and two octets for host. Class C first three octet is used for network and uh, last octet is used for your host uh, machines. Class D and E is normally not used. So class A it is used for a very large number of hosts where many people are accessing your network like your uh, internet internet in common place. Class B it is 16 bit using your network address 16 bit is using the uh, host address. Class C uh, three portions first three portions are referred for networking and last portion is referred for host portion. Class D is mainly used for multicasting purpose. Class E is used for uh, broadcasting purpose. The starting IP and ending IP is mentioned. Uh, here 127 is not mentioned. That 127 is a loopback address and mainly used for checking the connectivity of the destination system. Subnets and subnetting. So in order to avoid the collusion or more delay in uh, sending the information they wanted to divide a big network into a smaller network which is called subnet this helps in reducing the broadcast traffic and collusions subnetting is assigning and creating a ip pattern for your network so splitting the bigger network into small network is subnets and uh, assigning allocation of IP address to that subnet is called subnetting. Subnet mask. So while identifying a system inside the bigger network, so we'll be masking the host portion first. With the help of network portion, we'll try to identify the network. Once I identify the network portion, I'll mask the network portion and identify the host portion. So we are using only version 4, version 5, version 1 and 3 is not come. We have started using the version 6. So connectionless protocol is always faster, uh, easier to configure and uh, uh, it is very much familiar for all the operating systems. Devices, um, all the devices are now using the IP addresses in the system. And all the technologies are mainly adapting the internet or the connectivity. So if you see the picture, it says IP address is almost consumed. So we are in the shortage of IP version 4. That's the reason we are using the IP version 6. So uh, you will have 2 power 128 bit IP address generation mechanism. Some of the uh, methods given during your uh, uh, subnetting time and uh, because of the IP address shortage we have got uh, few temporary solutions from the architects one is on the CIDR classless interdomain routing other one is variable length subnet mask you have private addressing concept also we have net and PAT network address translation and port address translation so these methods are mainly used for um, saving your IP addresses so in order to overcome this kind of short faults, we have to go for next version of IP address, which is called IP version 6. So it is more, more efficient than your IP version 4. It can accommodate 2 power 128 addresses. And uh, it is familiar across all the operating system. We need not separately do any configurations for the uh, introduction of IP version 6 in any of the operating system and uh, it doesn't require any new software or hardware so only thing is the existing uh, network card or adapter should be able to uh, support the this kind of communication so this comes to the end of uh, IP version IP addressing concepts so hope you got some idea about IP address. Further, if you are interested to know about any other additional topics, please comment it in the comment section. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel. We are going to release another topic for uh, interconnecting devices, followed by other um, uh, network technology series. So requesting everyone to subscribe this channel. Thank you.